Floss Tube. Good morning. It is Helen D. Uh, I am filming on Tuesday, November 30th. Bright and sunny today. <laughs> um, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's been two weeks. It's been pretty quiet two weeks here. Um, not a whole lot going on. It's cold. <laughs> we had our first snow. Um, I'm in Maine and it snowed, I think it was last I don't know, someday last week. Um, it was just a dusting, but it didn't melt. <laughs> so that means it's time. It's time for the winter season. So it's been cold. Um, what is it right now? It's 28 degrees. So my winter coat is out, <laughs> um, officially. And it's cold enough that when I pick up, like I blast the heat on the drive over. So then when my car is off, he usually stays warm until he gets out of the school. And my son is not fast. He's like one of the last ones out of that building. Um, I have a stack of things to show today. So we'll get started. Uh, Thanksgiving was last week here in the US. It was very quiet for us, just the three of us. Uh, my parents are in Florida now for the winters. My sister does Thanksgiving with her in-laws. So it was just us. Um, I did a little bit of Black Friday shopping, Cyber Monday, deals weekend. I, tr I tried to be good, but I caved on a few things. So there's some stitchy things. Um, there's some felt. I bought some more felt for like those animals and the ornaments that I'm hoping to get to next year. Um, stuff like that, nothing major. Most of my Christmas shopping is done. I'm an, I'm an early shopper because I don't like crowds. So I've always been an early shopper. Um, it also helps that for a long time when I was working, like more than half to three quarters of the time I worked, I worked a third shift. So I could go shopping at 10 in the morning at Christmas time and stores were pretty quiet. I got used to that. So then when I would go in, like, I, I dread going to the mall. Um, too, too many people. So I have a stack of things to show, uh, and I'm going to start with a gift. So Misty Purcell and Barbie of Petal Pusher and I, Misty's Luminous Fiber Arts, we have done um, a swap for the past several years. Um, typically we do Halloween. This year we said, let's mix it up and let's do Christmas. So it gave us a little more time in the year <laughs> to get things done. Um, and it gave us some different like charts and things to pick from, which was nice. It was, it was nice to mix it up. So I have mine mailed. I went yesterday and got everything mailed out. I like five things to mail out yesterday. And uh, Misty's has come in. Um, she said she was right on top of things this year. She says, usually I'm last. So I wanted to be first in the mail this year. So she sent this gorgeous card. She, these are her cards. So she has on her website, which is luminousfiberarts.com. Um, she's selling cards that she made featuring her, her designs, her stitches, her models. Um, and her photography is always fantastic for like her cover sheets and stuff. So she sent me one of her cards, which is like uber heavy, heavy duty and nice. Um, a With Thy Needle chart. This is an older one, I believe. It's called Boughs of Holly, which is really cute. A package of pom-poms, because she knows these Lady Dot pom-poms are my faves. Uh, this is a new color. This is Ocala blue. Um, I think it's the coastal coastal holiday that um, Hands On Design just put out that this was dyed for. Some super cute charms. I want to make sure you could see them. There's a little snowman in there. Some nice enamel snowflakes. And then my ornament might look familiar. There he is. <laughs> so she stitched me. This is one of her designs. This was called Jingle Jolly Joy. Jingle Jolly Joy, I think. Jingle Jolly Joy. It says it on the back of the card. Um, so she did these. It was a mystery stitch along, I think in July or earlier in the year. 
and they're stitched like as one long row, but then she's like, she said you could stitch them separately. This is tiny. This is um, one over one on 25 count. <laughs> so teeny, teeny, tiny stitches, um, but he's super cute. And I was teasing her that her finishing is so perfect, she matched up the lines. Like that's, that's next level. <laughs> so I love him, thank you so much. Um, like I said, mine are in the mail, and then I can show you what I stitched for them, because um, I stitched one for myself too. So I'll have that to show you in person, probably in my next video. Um, and then my other gifts that I sent out, I did film just a little video before I put them in the mail. So thank you, Misty. Fully finishes. Um, I did show these, um, my, the sled ornaments. I talked about these last video that I was going to finish these. This is a chart from Foxwood Crossings. I don't know why, I made four, but I don't know why I brought them down. They're, they're the same. Um, two and two, I did two of each. And I did film the little tutorial on these that I know a lot of people have watched. I'm glad it was helpful. Honestly, I had no idea if this was something that people would be like, yeah, we all know how to do that. Or people might be like, oh, I didn't, I've stitched them. And what I got a lot of was I've stitched those and I was unclear how to get them on the sleds. So I'm glad it was helpful. Um, Anytime there's something you guys can think of that would be helpful for a tutorial, let me know. It might be something I can do. It might be something that's already been done and I can point you in the right direction. Um, I always start at Vonna's channel to see if Vonna's done one because Vonna is the queen and she's done a lot of them. So, you know, just let me know. So those are done. Um, I am gonna write, I think, these are from my son's teachers and I think I'm just gonna write 2021 on the back. Oh, I should mention, so I use these little year charms a lot. Um, and I just get them on, on Amazon and they're in a giant package of like 100. They're not stainless steel. So I had noticed last year when I pulled my Christmas ornaments out for the tree that some of these were looking a little tarnished and I didn't want them to hurt the stitching. So I did use, um, Carla of Cabo Corner, actually, she makes jewelry, and she said, oh, I have some extra cloths, I'll throw one in. So she mailed me one of her, just a polishing cloth. Um, so when we put the tree up this year, I did go through and just rub down all of those charms, and I got quite a bit of tarnish off them. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you use those charms, they're great, but just clean them every couple years so that they don't wipe off Right? I don't think it would hurt so much the one it's on, but if you had it against another one, like putting it in the package, um, just a little, little tip. It's today's little tip. Two other fully finishes. One is mine and one is my sister's. This one's on top. Uh, this is Donna's. This, I don't know the name of this chart. It might be Volpes, Volps which is fox, the fox in French. Um, this is a primitive hair chart that she had stitched. She started this a while ago and it took her quite a while because that fox is a lot of fill in. And she had this frame. Um, we both picked up this, this was an oops frame from Michaels. Sometimes if they do a custom frame and someone, I don't know if it's, they change their mind or they cut it the wrong size. She had this frame, I've used mine, I use mine this way. Um, so I just stretched that and pinned it and laced it and put an extra piece of mat board on the back. I did buy one of those point drivers, which is like a fancy nail gun for frames. That thing is fantastic, fantastic. So it shoots in these little point thingies. Very easy to use. Um, mine is a Logan brand. It's the one that Kitten Stitcher had recommended years ago when she did a video on stretching um, and framing your own needlework. So I highly recommend Logan Point Driver. I got mine at Walmart. That's where it was cheapest. Um, but I've seen them on Amazon too. And then the last fully finish was... 
This is Here's the Skinny on Christmas. This is a heart and hand. This is the one I finished last video when I told you that I shortened the border. There's, there was a little more down here and at the top, but I had this little frame in the closet and I wanted to use it. So I just took those out. Now this one on the back, it had something in it. So my husband pried it out and I shoved my piece in there and then I just kind of jammed it in. Um, I just used the stitchery tape on this one. I didn't even lace it. It's so snug. It's not going anywhere. So, and it's not pretty, but no one can see the back. So that one is done. <clears throat> Those are my fully finishes. Um, finishes, I have just a couple and they're smalls because a lot of what I finished, I then fully finished because I'm, I'm in the get things done <laughs> for the end of the year for Christmas mode. Um, I had picked up, there's two of these charts. This is two by two, two, and there's one that's just two by two from Prairie Schooler. And I wanted to do some of these ornaments because we took a trip to the Cincinnati Zoo this year. So I had done the penguins and I did change the colors. I actually used the colors for the penguins from the hands-on design Christmas flamingo charts from last year because I stitched those so I, I used the colors for that. So then the one I really wanted to do was the penguins because when we went to the zoo we did the behind the scenes penguins tour. We watched the Cincinnati Zoo put out last year 2020 um, during the close like when schools were closed they did an at home zoo segment every day. Um, where it was like a live feed on their Facebook and they introduced you to all the different animals and we, we learned so much. My son loved it, which is why we went to the zoo. So we said, all right, let's, we haven't done anything, <laughs> right? In a year and a half, let's splurge and do one of the behind the scenes and he chose the penguins. So I wanted to stitch the penguins. Okay, I know how some people say Oh, I could never change a prairie schooler. Oh, I can't even change the colors. I'm sorry, prairie schooler, because your penguin, per my son, is now a shopping penguin. So I'm working away on this guy. There is, and some of you with younger kids might know, <clears throat> um, some of you may not, because he's a little on the edge. Um, there's, a songwriter and a singer named Perry Grip. He did a lot of the music for Phineas and Ferb, the TV show. He's like Weird Al for the younger set. <laughs> so one of his little songs, and they're all like super short and super catchy and get stuck in your head, is Shopping Penguin. So I'm stitching away on him and I had just the penguin done and my husband said, oh, is that a shopping penguin? as a joke, but my son heard him. And he's like, um, it is now. You have to make that a shopping penguin. So he's shopping. There's a little fish on his bag, shopping for some fish. There's a little bit of black right here because I had started the next guy. So I will, um, I have one of those seam rippers with the rubbery tip that sometimes you can pull some of those fibers out. So that's my shopping penguin. So I guess that's what we get. Um, so those need to be fully finished and hung on the tree. Um, our tree is up, Emmy the cat is under it and in it. She loves it. Whips. Um, I've kind of been bebopping between some things. So here they are. Uh, when, oh, I should have brought the chart down. The chart's upstairs. When I did those, oh, I should have brought the tag down too. I'm really, I'm failing you guys today. Yep, I'm failing. Um, and I can't edit because John's working from home. So I have just barely time to upload. Um, when I did that sled tutorial, and also I think I had shown you guys on here, I found this set of wooden gift tags at Michael's and there's 50 of them and they were $10. Um, with a coupon and I thought they would work well for something with the perforated paper. The sled ornament tags are a little too small. So Brenna Gervais 
just put out, um, it's called Snowball, and it's the set of like seven winter kind of smalls. In that is these three snowmen. She has them as one sh long strip. They look like photographs. They even have like the little black stuff on the edge like you would slip them in a scrapbook. So I stitched one on perforated paper and it's gonna be the perfect size for those little tags. I actually think I posted a picture, I posted a picture on my Instagram, I can show you there. Um, I'll have to paint the tags because they're unfinished. So, so there's the book, the snowball, and they'll fit right on that little tag. I kind of did one just to see um, if it was going to work and it's going to be fine. The outline is in white. For the rest of them, I don't know if I want to make the outline a different color just so it stands out more. And I did have to tweak his little arms and his nose. Um, she has you doing some of the back stitching like on linen, like in the in-between, but perforated paper is just 14 count and there is no in-between. Um, so I just tweaked it to make them work. So that kind of has been my car project because it's really easy to see um, and small and sturdy. So I'm gonna work on those for next year. Technically, I guess that's a finish because that one is done. Uh, next up, the month of November, I wasn't really prepared for you guys, I didn't have any of my pictures pulled up. I wanted to do another Thanksgiving piece that I knew I wouldn't have time to finish for this year, but I thought if I work on it in November on the weekends, um, that will give me time to get some of my other things done and a chance to get kind of started. For next year so I chose this one yikes um, this is called give thanks it's by autumn lanes to tree and I got a pretty good chunk so I just worked on them on the weekends and that's where I'm at so I'm more than halfway of the bottom done and the other side of the turkey is not quite as dense and then there's that bannery stuff on the top um, it's all DMC. This is a piece of, it's called Caramel Latte. It's an older color from Color and Cotton. Um, I was in their Fabric of the Month Club a long time ago, and that was one that I had left over. So I don't think it's an available color. So that's how far I got on that. Then I pulled out... I was feeling this one. I hadn't worked on this one, I think since January. I worked on it at the beginning. I restarted it this year and worked on it and then moved on to other things and then hadn't come back to it. So I was feeling it because it's wintry. Um, I pulled back out Woodland Christmas. So this chart is the one that is only available in this book. This is a cross stitch Christmas Handmade Memories. It's from 2013. It's hard to find. Uh, some people have said they found it on eBay or Amazon or one of the used book sites. Some people have said they found it on there for $100. <laughs> um, not worth that. Check your library. A few people told me they found it through like interlibrary loan. Um, I reached out earlier this year to Karen Kluba of Rosewood Manor, who's the designer, and she said that this is not one that she is able to reprint. Uh, they hold the copyright, but a lot of the motifs are exactly the same from End For Screw. So if you wanted, you could get End For Screw and, and pull out from there or only do a section. Um, it's, it's, I call this one End For Screw Light because it's very similar. So hers was stitched in here on just a white or an off-white. I'm using 25 count Wedgwood Blue, which is his Weigart. And I'm using the 25 count, it's big. This was my first real foray into the Lugana. 
and some on this one, and a force glue doesn't grew does not have over one. This one does. So these little like birds and stuff are over one. And I needed to be able to see it. So see it's big. Um, I am right at almost the halfway because I know this here is the middle. And in the book, part of it's on one page, part of it's on the other page. So I'm getting to the point, and it's all wrinkly, where I'm gonna have those motifs that are half and half. I left off on that tree. And there's the moon. Now, still in this bag, like I said, this was a restart. I originally started this a few years ago. And I was trying, I had to have something that I could do that over one on. So I was trying a 28 count Joblin. I'm not a fan of Joblin. I find, I know the makeup of the cloth is the same as Lugana. The Joblin I find very slippery and I can't see the holes. And this is not even hand dyed, right? This is regular. Um, this is as far as I got on that one. So I've already gotten way farther. This was a blue, a purple. I love this color, but I'm much happier with it on the 25 count. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because it's not really a chunk that I can do anything with. I'm never gonna stitch on this again. Um, so I don't know, that's just in the bag. So Woodland Christmas, it's probably not gonna get any more love this year, it might. I'm not really feeling drawn to anything specific this winter, this month. I'm just kind of working on what I have going. So there's that. Two others that are in progress. I did have a new start and it was Heaven and Nature Sing. This is from Petal Pusher. It's in this plastic, it's a color chart. So I had these plasticky things, so I popped it in there. So there he is. Uh, mine is on 16 count chalkboard. So I love the colors in this. They're non-traditional Christmas colors. So there's that, and I'm gonna do this tree first and then I'll move over and do the big tree so that's a small that that should get done before Christmas we'll see and then the last one I've been working on is I pulled back out jingles from Lizzie Kate my little charms are falling out of that one so I'm doing them all together all those little ones are sold separate. I'm on, I'm right here. And actually, I'm working on kind of two at the same time right now. And it's all in here, so I'm not gonna take it out. But I have everything above it done. This block was a little boring because it's like a tiny band sampler. Um, so I said, well, I'll start the block next to it at the same time. And that way I can kind of work over here and then do a little over here and then work over here. Um, so the block that happens to be the one I pulled out is this little cute bird with his hat. So I would love, and I won't get this done this year, but I would love to get, finish this one, finish this one and do this block. And then this row of snowflakes on the Lizzie Kate website, there's the border for this and it has some of these extra elements in it and they're one of the extra elements. I'd love to get up through there and then that will give me four left for next year. And they're four of kind of the smaller ones. <laughs> so that would be nice. Um, so there's that. That's what I've been working on. That's a lot for two weeks. And it's kind of all over the place. move my stacks over okay giveaways um last video we had two giveaways that were generously donated by carla at cobweb corner um these are charts that she has available on her website 
Uh, they were pretty popular and they're nice and small. So they're easy for me to mail without going back to the post office. Uh, how do I write them down? This was We One's We Santa, Heart and Hand. This is the newest one. This goes to Jean Kenna. And Jean, I know you emailed me already, so I have to write back to you. And the house is Primrose Cottage. And Carla is carrying all of the Primrose Cottage charts. Um, they're kind of a newer designer. Uh, this is Lori Yu. And I've commented on both those comments, so shoot me an email with your address and I'll get those out. Um, the house is Fancy Floss, but they do have a DMC. I was wondering. I couldn't tell. The house color is pretty. Sky. Ooh, yeah, sky is one of my favorites. It's a Weak Styleworks sky. It's really pretty variegated. I've used it. So this week, we have two more charts that were donated by Carla at Cobble Corner. Um, I have one Christmas and then we're moving on from Christmas. So Christmas is the Holly Jolly Christmas. This was a newer release, a market, an expo release from Erica Michaels. Um, I've done, I've done this one, but it has all three. It has both berries and the bigger piece. So if you're interested in this, um, use the word Jolly. And then the second one, Cottage, Country Cottage, the January Cottage of the Month, um, use the word January. So please be over 18 so you can legally give me your address. Um, don't say giveaway. I'd appreciate it if you're a subscriber. And go check out Carla's site because she's got all kinds of good stuff. Thank you, Carla. <laughs> so that's this week's giveaway. Um, purchases. When Carla sends me stuff for you guys, she sends a couple charts for me as well. Uh, and I picked out Halloween, <laughs> of all things. Um, I've loved this chart for a long time. It's Kathy Barrick. This is actually the first Kathy Barrick chart I've ever owned. It is huge. It's called Tonight is Halloween. Um, 254 by 127. I mean, a lot of it is open. That's a big chart. And this is another one that I've just loved forever. You know it's an older Plum Street because it's the big one. This is Toil and Trouble. And I love those trees and the funky little castle. So thank you, Carla. Uh, and then I've had just, oh yeah, they were, they were Etsy charts. Um, I needed a couple things fabric-wise from 123. And I threw in, because shipping. Teresa Kogut. This is some of her new releases. I'd like to do these for next year. Um, she does them full coverage, but if you stitch them on black, you don't need to fill in all that black in the middle. So that's what I will do. And then this one, this is the fourth day of Christmas from Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, I think this one's my favorite. She's doing all the days and I have the first day, but something about these colors she did, I believe the sampler is stitched in MPI and the tree is stitched in the DMC conversion and they're pretty close. So I love that. Well, let's pull my phone up and see if I'm able to find what I bought. <laughs> um, it, was, it was some felt and a couple more felt patterns. I tried hard not to fall down the felt rabbit hole, but I failed. <laughs> I failed. Uh, this one was a little one from Teresa Kogut. She had a sale yesterday. It's called Be Thankful. And it's pretty small. I thought it would be a pillow. And then the other two, oh, they're not on here. Yesterday, everyone on Instagram was showing this new chart from Al Forest Embroidery. And it's gorgeous. Um, I bought it immediately. <laughs> immediately. So I may try and start this this year. Let's see if I can find it. They're doing a whole series of birds. And this is the latest. Oh, it's not gonna be right there. Well, I bought two and one of them's right here. So I'll show you that one. So I bought the new one. And then I also picked up this one, which is like the spring bird, and it's the swallows. Um, 
So there's the swallows. The new one is cardinals. It's so pretty. She said when they designed it, they actually have two versions because they were having such a good time charting it that she got done and was like, oh, this is way bigger than all the others in the series. And I know a lot of people, when they stitch a series, they like them all to be the same, right? So you can swip out, switch out your finishing and stuff. So they released two. This is, that was, this is the one I got, which is the smaller. Sorry, you guys get all the reflections. That's the smaller version. Um, stitched on the right fabric, it will fit in an eight by 10. The larger version is gorgeous and it was a tough call. Um, it's just got more, more birds. It's really pretty. So I picked those up. I did just get the PDFs. Um, the flosses were gorgeous, but with the shipping and everything from Russia, it was just a little more than I was gonna spend right before Christmas on myself. <laughs> so I just got the charts, they have a DMC conversion, and I'll probably just pull from my stash some really pretty, there's only like six or seven colors, um, so I'll pull some overnights to use. That's what I bought. And then I had a couple, I had a couple things come in the mail. Um, I had some stitchy kindness. So I had a couple viewers that sent in charts to use for giveaways, so thank you very much. Um, I will sprinkle those in over the next couple months. Um, I want a giveaway from Laura at Stitching by the Shore, and I was hoping to get it done this year, and it didn't happen. This is Bent Creek the Littles, Tiny Tim Turkey. Tim Turkey? Yep, Tim Turkey. That's Tom's cousin, Tim. He's a little. Uh, he's really small. <laughs> um, 24 by 24. Full coverage, but tiny. But I thought I will do him on um, a larger count and maybe even like 25 count over two just to make him not this big. Um, Killy sent me, She had I'd seen her finish this on Instagram and I commented on it and she said, if you'd like the chart, I'm happy to pass it on. This is a primitive hair chart and it's called Count Twice, Stitch Once. And it's a super cool snail. I believe this was a, uh, it says Nashville 2018 limited edition. I don't think you can get just this chart. And then she also threw in, which I'd never seen. She said, I threw in my extra of the metallic that it calls for because I'd never seen it before and it was kind of hard to find. So it's used for like his staff and his crown. This is a Threadworks. This is an overdyed Krynik. I, I didn't even know there was such a thing. So it's probably not gonna show, but it's got golds and browns. It's like, it's an overnight crinic. So, Killy, that was amazing, thank you. I'd like to, I have like stitchy pieces like that up in my room, my craft room, my half of the craft room slash office. Uh, and then Tony, who won my finishing giveaway, had sent me a piece of Ada she was done with, and she's like, hey, I found some more Ada. I'm sending it to you. <laughs> so she did, uh, and I won't show you all of it, but I want to show you this piece because I'd never seen this color. This is a picture of this plus, and it's called Tango, and it's this really, well, it's going to come out redder. It's not quite that red. It's this really pretty dusty rosish reddish it's really cool so i'll have to find something something valentiney on that would be really cute autumn lane stitchery in just cross stitch last year did a really pretty monochromatic heart with some birds in it on a pinky fabric we'll see what happens that is all that is all for today um Plans this month, I'm just gonna keep going. I liked the idea of having one piece that I worked on on the weekends and tried to get some progress on it for next year. I may start something. Um, I'm starting to think about what I wanna try and do in 2022. I have a couple, I have a couple thoughts. We'll see what materializes. Um, that's it. So, it's kind of all that's going on around here. I hope people had a nice Thanksgiving in, here in the States if you celebrate. Um, 
I hope your Christmas rush or your holiday rush isn't that crazy. Hanukkah has already started, so people are already celebrating that. Um, yeah, I hope people are just able to take some time this whole winter season to see some family if you haven't been able to see them for a long time. Um, Christmas here is quiet too, it's just the three of us. <laughs> I told my husband it's just so different for me because growing up, my dad is one of 10, there would be 75 of us jammed in my grandmother's trailer. And it was not a double wide. <laughs> um, and now to just have the three of us is so different. Um, I haven't quite gotten used to it and it's been, we've been married 14 years and she passed away before our wedding. So it's been 14 years I still haven't quite gotten used to it. <laughs> I miss the loud. That's one time when I did like the crowds. <laughs> um, so I miss that, but well, that was the cat. Whew. I thought something just ran by the window. This Pepper over here, she stares out this window like neighborhood watch, yelling at people when they go by. <laughs> she, she, she picks her little hands up and she goes, because she disapproves of everyone. So I'm rambling. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.